today I'll be creating a short simple little VBA code um, for this Excel spreadsheet so that if we would like to filter by any of the fields in this table the, fil uh, the field is or the table is uh, uh, filtered automatically as you type this column can actually go so as you're typing the the table will update to just um, to just show the value that you're actually uh, filtering for. So we'll need some VBA for this. So first of all, you can go to the Developer tab and add this text box. Just draw that. Then click on that. We need to go to the properties actually first. Go to the properties and then we need to go to linked cell and in linked cell we need to type the address of the cell that we're going to basically use to link it to the table so in this case let's just use b2 of course you could use any any cell that you'd like we're going to link it to b2 and then you can oh okay, we got this here already um, so just to walk you through it um, the first part we're going to do is update the screen, we're going to set that to false so that um, as you're updating you're not seeing basically the background operations and then um, we're just going to add this uh, VBA code you're going to go to the active sheet, you're going to list the objects and then over here you just need to look at what the name of this table is. So if you look at this table, the name of this table is data. So let's use that there. So that just basically tells Excel that we're busy working with the data table or the table named data. And then in the range we're going to use the auto filter function. And you can look that up and check out all the um, all the the syntax or the the fields that are needed for that um, function. So the first one is field. Field, which is field number two. Basically, what this says is that I'm going to be filtering by the second field. So I'll be filtering by the region. If I want to filter by name rather, then I can use field uh, number one. But I'm going to use field 2 for now. Uh, then we're going to go to criteria 1. Criteria 1. And that basically just um, specifies what cell we're going to be reading the filtering information from. So in this case, it's B, B2. And then I'm going to use a wildcard. Um, basically, what this says is we're going to be filtering from the basically the first letter and whatever comes after it. And I'll show you more what this uh, does in a second. And then we've got operator, which is just saying um, filtering the values. The value. And then oops, and then you see the values. Good, so let's just go over this. Data range, auto filter, auto field, criteria one. That should be fine. With the values. I just filter value. Okay, it's filter values. Okay, so now we should be able to type in a country or a region and it should be filtering. So as you can see, as I type A, it gives me everything with the first letter A. And as I keep typing, it automatically updates. So what you might want to do here, I suppose, 
is to to move this. Let's just do this before we move anything. And let me put this. Sorry. Put this developer over there, so you don't actually see the, the field of the cell being updated. So as I was saying, so you can you can type what you want in here. Um, so basically, when it comes to the criteria, as you saw, if I type in a, a letter, it's it filters by the first letter of the field. However, if we come here and use another wildcard, we'll see that if we now um, time filter and we use the word A or the letter A, it's, it's looking for the letter A regardless of what comes before the word and what comes after the or basically it's looking for A anywhere in the, in the, in the cell. So if the word in the cell contains an A, it will show you um, that word. So all of our regions have an A in them. If I continue and press an F, the only words in this, uh, in these cells or in that column that has the letters A, F is Africa. So basically, if you if you have the if you have the criteria one with a wildcard before target cell, then you'll be searching for the letter or the criteria, you'll be searching for that within any word. However, if you start with this and you only look for the wildcard, only have the wildcard operator after the target cell, then you'll be looking for the letter inside the word. So that's a pretty useful bit of VBA code. It's very simple, it's very easy to implement, and I think it's very useful.